Welcome to section 6, which is prove line theorems about perpendicular lines. So our objective is to use properties of perpendicular lines. A lot of the ideas in this section are ideas that you've seen before. We're just solidifying them a little bit more. So this section deals all with, about perpendicular lines. So let's just jump right into our to some theorems. The first theorem says if two lines intersect to form a linear pair of congruent angles, then the lines are... So let's draw a picture and see if we can fill this in. Two lines intersect. Okay, so here's my two lines. They form a linear pair of congruent angles. So here would be my congruent angles. Then what's true about the lines? Well, okay, let's think about this. A linear pair always adds to be 180. So if I have two congruent angles that add to be 180, it means both of the angles have to be 90. If those two angles are 90, then the lines are perpendicular. You could probably guess that from the section title. Remember that this is the symbol for perpendicular, the upside down T. The next theorem, if two lines are perpendicular, then they intersect to form four right angles. Okay, so let's have some lines that are perpendicular here. You know they're perpendicular because of the right angle. Now I only have one right angle marked, but in reality all four of those angles are right. So in reality this is a right angle, this is a right angle, and that is a right angle. So that's what that theorem says. So if we go down to example one, what can we conclude about angles one and two? Well we know our lines are perpendicular, so then all four angles are right. So we know that angle one and angle two are both right. And if they are both right, then they are congruent. Okay, and we're going to write a reason for this. So if two lines are perpendicular, they form four right angles. And that's the theorem we just wrote down. So again, this really, neither of these ideas should be something new. Okay. A few more ideas. If two sides of two adjacent acute angles are perpendicular, then the angles are what? Okay, so let's draw this one out. Two sides of two adjacent acute angles. So let's draw one acute angle. And then we need another adjacent acute angle. So adjacent means that they share a side. So if they share that side in the middle, I'm going to draw another one. So these are adjacent acute angles because they share that side right there. Now it says if the two sides are perpendicular, so if they're perpendicular, then what is true about the angles? Well, in this case, we notice that our two angles are going to sum to 90, which means that they are complementary. Okay, next theorem. If a transversal is perpendicular to one of two parallel lines, then it is blank to the other. Okay, transversal is perpendicular to one of two parallel lines. So I'm going to have to start out with parallel lines. And I'm going to mark that they're parallel. Now it says a transversal is perpendicular to one. Then hopefully you can figure out it is also going to be perpendicular to the other. And lastly, in a plane, if two lines are perpendicular to the same line, then they are blank to each other. Okay, so let's have two lines. They're both perpendicular to the same line. Then they are what to each other? Well, in the way that I've drawn the figure, you can see that my two angles are corresponding angles, and they're congruent. If we have corresponding angles that are congruent, that means our lines are parallel. So two lines perpendicular to the same line, that means your original lines have to be parallel. Okay, so I'm not asking you to memorize these theorems, but I am asking you to be able to recognize them in a figure and to be able to use them. Again, you're not, you don't have to memorize them, but I expect you to know, for example, that if two lines are perpendicular to the same line, then they are parallel, which you should be able to figure out from a figure. So let's move to the next page. 
Okay, so example two, it says answer yes or no and explain. So for the first example, is R parallel to S? Okay, so in order to prove that lines are parallel, we need to have some special angle relationships. So if we look at R and S, we need to figure out what is our transversal. So looking at R and S, either M is a transversal or N is a transversal. So if I'm looking at R and S, I can ignore T. If we look at M as our transversal, there's one angle marked on S, no angle marked on R. If we look at N as the transversal, there's one angle marked on S, none on R. So therefore, no. The reason is we have no angles marked on line R. Okay, so let's look at the next one. Is M parallel to N? Okay, so if M is parallel to N, I have three options for a transversal. If I look at T, I have one angle marked on N, this right angle, nothing marked on M. If I look at S, I have one right angle on M, one right angle on N. In that case, yes, the lines are parallel because they are both perpendicular to line S. So that's what the theorem on the previous page said. If we have two lines perpendicular to the same line, then they are parallel. In this case, our two lines, or our two angles that are right angles, are consecutive interior angles. They're supplementary, which makes the lines parallel. Okay, the last one I would like you to do on your own, please. I would like you to pause the video, try the last part of example two, and come back when you are finished, please. Good luck. Okay, let's see how we did. Now, the last one says, is S parallel to T? If I'm looking at S and T, I can ignore R, the one next to it. I have two options for a transversal. If I look at R, I notice there's one right angle marked on S, nothing marked on T. So then let me go to N. If I look at N as my transversal, I notice there's a right angle on T and a right angle on S. So therefore, yes, S and T are parallel because they are both perpendicular to line N. In this case, my two right angles are corresponding angles and they're congruent. If corresponding angles are congruent, the lines are parallel. So hopefully that one went well for you. You just have to really take it step by step and think what information do I have what information is too much. So for me, it's helpful to cross out R because I know that I'm not going to need it or it's not going to help me. Okay, let's look at example three. It says, what can you conclude about the diagram from the given information? Explain. So I'm going to do the first one with you and you're going to do the second one. So in the first one, we're told that angles one and two are congruent. Now, you know that they're congruent and that they're a linear pair. Okay, so let's call angle 1 x, since I don't know what it is. If 1 is congruent to 2, then 2 is also x. If they're a linear pair, then they're supplementary. So x add x equals 180, 2x equals 180, so x equals 90. Okay, that means this is a right angle and this is a right angle. So from the diagram, we know that angle 1 and angle 2 are both right which tells us that line R is, is perpendicular to line S. In terms of explaining, this is going to be my work to explain. I don't need a full written out explanation. This work is sufficient. Right now, pause the video and try the second part of example three, please. Okay, let's see how we did. It says N is perpendicular to M. Perpendicular means that we form a right angle. Okay, so right off the bat, that should have told you that angles 1, 2, 3, and 4 are all right. Based on the previous theorem. So if two lines are perpendicular, they form four right angles. So that was the second theorem on the first page of these notes. 
You also then could say that angles 1 is congruent to angle 2, which is congruent to angle 3, which is congruent to angle 4. But really, I wanted to know that all those angles were right. Okay, so again, a lot of this is intuitive. It's stuff that you have seen before or you may have figured out, but now we're just writing it down on paper. So there is one more example for you to do. So in this video, we talked about perpendicular lines and their properties. You have one last problem to do. When you come to class tomorrow, I'm going to be checking to see that your notes are finished and that you have this last problem completed. If you have any questions, please make sure that you put a question mark, you star, you bold, you somehow indicate so you know to ask me tomorrow. Good luck on this last problem, and I'll see you tomorrow.